great run here by Gerda Stein, smiling all the way to the finish, acknowledging the spectators. She is going to be the winner of the 2018 Two Oceans Marathon, the 49th edition of this race, and smiling all the way and under that three hours, 40 minutes mark. And what a great run by her. Looking so fresh crossing the line there. It's an ultra marathon. It's even longer than the regular marathon. The two oceans, one of the tougher races anyone is likely to run. Gerda Steyn is the champion. She's one of two South Africans to have won the race in the last 17 years. It is a truly remarkable accolade. And we are so proud to have you today on Sport at 10. You're looking at that and you, the pride seems to come up again and the joy and the eyes are going red. Is it... You know, such a powerful moment to have seen again? It's unbelievable. It's been over a week now, but every time I see it, it's still like, I can't believe it happened. I'm so, so happy. Now, <laughs> you're from the Free State. Boerteville, right? Yes, that's right. Vaz Boerteville. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Everyone looking from Boerteville, watching the show now, is like, we're going to show that guy where is Boerteville. <laughs> like, so if I'm going where, will I pass Boerteville? Um, if you come from Johannesburg, you'll drive through Poch of Strem, yeah, and then straight down um, towards the Free State, and then you get to Boerteville at some stage. When you, get, when you see all the mealy fields, That's you know you. you're in Boerteville. That's you? Yeah. Is that where the running talent was uh, brought into you? Is that where you, you, you began this uh, journey of yours? Um, I'm not sure. Well, when I grew up, uh, when I grew up, even through school, I never used to be a runner or an athlete in any way. Nux. So nothing. <laughs> Nux. So um, I always enjoyed sports and obviously I always loved the outdoors. I grew up on the farm, so it's so part of you being out and running around. But and you clearly were a nerd, right? Because <laughs> you go to school, you finish, yeah. and eventually you take up a career. That's as right. As what? Yes, um, I studied for quantity surveyor in Bloemfontein. What do you do as a quantity surveyor? What's the actual job? So a quantity surveyor is someone who works on construction sites and you um, basically have to quantify all the items that's needed to build, uh, to do a construction. Measurements. Measurements. You're there behind that thing. You know, they, I've seen them standing there looking, doing the line and this yeah, and that. And also we, um, we calculate the cost of a building. Uh, so completely opposite to anything in athletics. Per lach. Exactly. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Boring job, right? For sure. Then somebody tries to put a bit of spice in your life, right? Yeah. They come up to you and say, hey, why don't you join a running club? Join you know? a running club. Exactly. That's what happened. And obviously, I didn't want to lose out on that. Uh, so I joined a running club and I started training with my friends. Four years ago, right? Four years ago, that was. So the only four years ago. Before yes. that, you're not lying to us, right? You weren't training secret laboratory secret under training, your house, becoming a machine. <laughs> under the farmhouse. Yeah. It was a big lab. <laughs> four years ago was the first time you said, let me join as a social runner. Just, you know, something to do. Yeah, something to do and so make new friends and uh, so on. So I, start, I joined the running club. And um, that was about three months from when I did my first marathon. So the guys there were saying, OK, we're all training towards a marathon, 42 kilometers. Why don't you join us? Uh -huh. So I thought, OK, that sounds a good challenge. And then when we did the marathon, I ran away for all my friends. So they were like, yo, what's hey, this girl? <laughs> what's she doing? Yeah. So that's where it all started. Then the running club is also responsible for your personal life, right? You met your fiancé there. That's correct, yes. So running has actually changed your life. That's absolutely true in all sorts of forms in my life. <laughs> running changes life. You see people, don't sit on the couches. You can meet your husband at a running club. Get there up and go. let's start doing it. Then somebody suggests to you, try comrades, right? You did a marathon. Yeah. Every South African needs to do comrades once in their life, right? Exactly. So they're telling you this. Yeah, they say you can't be South African and call yourself a runner if you've never run comrades. Right. So I was like, well, OK, I want to be a runner. I'll do comrades. But again, <laughs> just for fun, right? Yeah, of course, just for fun. But uh, it was good because you were already in training now and the marathon went well. So you're all sort of so, uh, in energetic and all. So, yes, I just um, followed the plan and I did comrades. Uh, what did you do? What position first comrades? I think I was 53rd on so, my first comrades. Still better than anybody else that I yeah, know in their first comrades. I was last. 53rd. <laughs> Second comrades? Second comrades, I was 14th. Sure. That's a massive improvement, eh? Yeah, that was. Third comrades? Third comrades, number four. <laughs> hmm. That's a massive improvement. And then Two Oceans comes up. 
That's right. And you decide now, let me try this, let me try the two oceans. Yes, it's difficult with two oceans and comrades. A lot of years, they're very close um, to each other. Mm. So it's difficult to recover after two oceans and then still try and perform with comrades. So this year was different because they were 10 weeks apart. They are 10 weeks apart. Mm. So it's quite, it's more than enough time to do both. Before we see this situation where you're coming in to win the race, there was the Polish uh, lady that was in the, rain, in the lead, Dominika. She was leading. You overtake her with about 30 minutes to go. Yeah. And those who are watching the race, and we've shown you the highlights of it, and will have seen that there was a big, 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 you know, yeah. conversation. <laughs> you say something as you're about to overtake. Yeah. What gets said? Uh, I passed them. You know, when you pass a lady, there's not that many ladies in the field um, up front, so you know basically who each and every one is. Uh -huh. So I always think it's a bit awkward passing another lady because you don't want to say nothing and you don't want to sound almost cocky. You want to be polite as you yeah, go you past, want to be right? Polite. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave you now, but say something nice. Yeah, and I didn't want to give her the famous Bruce Fordyce handshake because <laughs> what if she passes me again? <laughs> so you come up to the Polish girl, you're feeling strong she's yeah. been leading and you can feel yourself going past yes I can now feel what myself. do you say so i said to her well done good run so i thought i'll keep it short and sweet well <laughs> done good run and then she and <laughs> yeah <laughs> bye bye <laughs> bye bye <Susie. laughs> no and then she asks me something but i couldn't quite make out what she said and then i asked again pardon what did you say and she asked me Where's the other girls? Are they far away? Uh, <laughs> so I just said, no, I think you're okay. I think they're far away. And then I continued. And you knew at that moment, right? Did you have that feeling that she won't catch me again? I'm gone now. I actually thought she's going to come back to fight because normally you can see if someone is really, really tired. And when I passed her, she actually still looked on good form to me. But you know how your head works. Uh, you, you, at that stage, it's so, there's so much going through your mind. So actually, I have to say, until the moment I hit the grass, I thought she's going to come past me. And yeah, that's all I was thinking. You're still young. You're already having tremendous success. The talent is clearly there. You've only been doing it for four years. What's the achievement now? What do you want to do? How, what's the, how high can you go in this long distance running and marathon running? I think there's still so much more out there for me to do. Um, I, I've not gone to where I want to be at all. So I think there's a lot, a lot of things that I still can achieve in the future. What's the goal? Um, I have many goals. Um, comrades, of course, is the next goal. Um, I'm going to give my best to do well in Comrades as well. Um, and also after that, I'll be doing a marathon, the standard 42 kilometer. And that's also, for me, it's a very unknown field. So I would love to see um, some improvement there as well. Gerda Steyn, Two Oceans Marathon winner and just phenomenon. I mean, yeah, there's people that have been running for 30 years and have never come close to even a gold medal, never mind the winning medal at a marathon. Gerda, we're proud of you. Congratulations. Keep rising and keep rising. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.